All right, good morning. Sunday round, here we go. Playing E6 online tour again. We are here, this is the American Express. Round one, playing at Big Horns, the Canyon. First swing, no warm ups, everybody knows the rules. So, we got 236, downhill. We can get this ball a little bit to the right there and then it becomes a pretty wide open fairway it looks like. So we're gonna take it down that right side. The bunkers should be carryable, especially downhill. And uh, you know, I tend to hit my little fade. So we'll go with that. Although it is the first swing of the day, so I probably should have thought about that. But still carryable. Kick it left. Come on. Ooh, this is gonna be interesting. So I've had some requests to, to say what we're playing on um, just from like a firmware and all that stuff. So I think that's a good idea. So I'm playing E6 is 1.5.1. The firmware on the Mebo Plus is 0 0.16. 0.16 on the firmware. So um, what that means is this is the firmware where they, they came out with it and then people, we've had some issues with putting. And so they said then they're gonna re-release a new one coming here very soon and uh, go from there. Um, so we're expecting to see that stay right there. That looks like a giant hill. And that's going to roll for a while. So they have that going on. Plus, uh, I've been seeing the driver be better. Now I have, you know, over time I've seen it still needs some work. It's not 100% there. But, you know, I've had some of my students in now and stuff. And they've all kind of agreed as well that it's going a little bit farther. I really hate when they get pins like this. Stop. Oh, well, we're gonna wait for a while. So story time then is, cause that's gonna come back, I'm guessing. That's the other thing, and I don't know if it's the pins that we're getting, but the ball is just rolling all over the place a little bit, which is fine. Hey, it stopped. I get my gimme. I thought I'd be putting again. Um, oh, never mind. Still moving. We will be putting again, is my guess. No, hey, there we go. Two inches or four inches short. Sweet. Um, you know, so they do a good job you know, of, of updating everything and all that. But uh, they did say, you know, that they know about, hey, that it's slow or it's uh, or it's high spin, I should say. The ball speed is just, you know, everything's not matching up. So they're working on it. That's why I like it because I know they'll get it. And we're seeing lots and lots of updates about everything. And, uh, you know, we're getting there. So Here's an example, here's a drive. I mean, again, that's 260. That wasn't crazy downhill and I'm not like super warmed up. So I definitely think it's going farther. Could it go farther? You know, I think maybe, but um, you know, definitely better. That's, that's my, you know, experience with it so far. Now we're uphill 139, uphill 14. I'm gonna hit a full on nine, try to play this about 145 to 147. Hit it good, it's a little right though. Get down. Blasted that one. Now, I, I would say this too, one of the things that I think, um, you know, happens as well is, you know, the if you're playing on the course, if you're playing on the courses, the elevation of the course does matter. So, like this one's in the mountains. Let's see, a 50 footer. We gotta try to feed one down there. Gotta feed down. Keep feeding. Keep feeding. 
not bad. Um, you know, like the courses are at high elevation, the ball obviously goes farther and, uh, and all of that stuff. So that, you know, I've noticed that and that plays into it. So it could be this course, you know, big horn, I believe this is California. There we go. So, all right, 511 par five down 57. So we're just going to give this a ride. See if we can get one in a spot where we get a chance to go for it. Hit that one pretty good. I like that one. There's my little fade that I hit. Come on, ball, go for a ride. Get 300. Ah, I just hit right into that upslope. Sorry, right, though, good drive. You know, again, it's downhill a lot. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, 280 carry for me way downhill. It doesn't seem too far off. I don't know. It's close. It's getting closer. Let's say that. All right, we got this. This is a go. Um, it's only 210-ish to the front. It's downhill 224, so I'm going to hit a 4-iron. 3-iron would be too much, and I'd rather chip from in front than long. So we'll hit this, hit it as hard as we can. And hit it pretty poor. Hit it pretty poor. A little pitch up. That's why we weren't mind being short. Pretty basic pitch up that hill. Just pitch it up, it's uphill, and we'll take a birdie. All right, what do we got next? Par three, okay, can't go left. 17 down, I'm gonna hit six iron, playing at about 180. Might play a little longer than that, but we'll try 180. That's gonna be deep, I hammered that. That is hit so hard. <laughs> well, Definitely not short today. Oof. Okay. So that went 215 carry. I mean, I absolutely annihilated that thing too, though. So we'll see. I guess we'll drop back here. Right on the edge of the water. Earth 43. bad I think it comes out a little slow out of that earth stuff from what I thought before okay now let's make a putt here 17 gotta go maybe not yeah we're pretty good speed oh double well we absolutely flushed one on a six, so maybe seven's the play from that far. Uh, let's see, 238, way uphill, very, very tight. Um, the closer you get up there, I think the play here is three iron. It's just too tight as we're getting up there. So now I'm thinking about trying to hit one and have a good yardage in. I like to have around 110, 105 because that's my 50 degree that I, I just a comfortable 50 degree that I like. So I think this will get to right around there. That's what, that's the plan at least. Hit it good. Hit it good. Yep, 110, 111 in, but that's the kind of the plan. So I could have a, hopefully a 50 in, kind of have to go with the flow. It is uphill, but I still think I can get it there. Still think I can get it there. Let's see what we got on the, the 50. Hit it good, should get there. 
Man, I'm just hitting it really far. <laughs> huh. I've woken up. I've woken up. That's interesting. I like it. Just not ready for it. All right, so we got to adjust. Take less club is the start. 54 feet. We're just trying to pitch it. It's downhill, so it should run a little. There we go. So we just kind of pitch it on, let it feed down. Those are kind of nice chips because, it, you know, if you hit it with a little bit of loft, it doesn't really matter where you land. It's going to kind of feed the same spot. So it's kind of nice to have those. All right, another par five. Well, let's see. I mean, I've got absolute. Let's see if we get this on the driver, huh? I want some of that distance. I am making a big effort to turn more in my backswing. So maybe that is helping. I mean, I'm trying. Go ball. Three undy. Three undy. Yeah, there we go. Huh, maybe that does help. Let's just see the swing speed. 117. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? That's interesting. I got to save that for the records. Got all the young bucks in here. You know, telling me how they're going to outdrive me and stuff. I got to make sure I let them know. Let them know what's up. Okay. Downhill, well, now I'm going six iron. So I'm going six iron because it just went 200 yards. So we're going to adjust and holy cow, holy cow just annihilating the ball so it's definitely got to be playing to some altitude i'm guessing by what looks like snowy mountains or maybe that's just bad mountains in the back but again pretty basic chip hit it with some loft i don't like to hit these downhillers with no loft because it's just going to run forever instead if you hit it with some loft it kind of just plops unless you get a super high reader it just plops on the green and then it if you carry it a little too far, you usually carry it over the slope and then it hits softly. Or if you um, let's make the putt first. Give it to me. There we go. Um, if you carry it a little short, you catch more of the down slope. It releases a little bit. You just get a lot of room for air when you do that. I guess those are snowy, snowy mountains, so we must be up pretty high. I didn't look at that. All right, well, we're gonna take the theme of clubbing down today, so I'm gonna go eight iron. From 174, here we go. So that was an eight iron, hit okay. Yeah, I pretty much got there. Didn't like that little tail to the right, but okay. Okay. Kind of reminds me when uh, playing in Colorado, if you play ever played in Denver, it's like, you know, you're like, um, I've got 180 yards and I'm hitting nine iron over water. Doesn't, uh, doesn't feel great. Doesn't, you know, it's, it's not, you know, you gotta really like be confident and just trust it. If you're like, there's, you know, as much as you know, you're at altitude, you're at all this stuff, it's still a nine iron from 170 or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, gets to be interesting. There, T. Where did the T go? 
up 27 there it is up 27 all right so I'm hitting it longer I need to see if I can get this to draw though got it to draw but I pulled it I hate that pull draw but go far uh oh trees All right, 154, that oh, shouldn't be a problem. 154 up, not even gonna worry about that. We're just gonna hit a nine. And I'm not even gonna try to sm hit it super big. I'm just gonna try to hit it good. Get down, yeah, man, uh-oh. Oh, I was about a foot away on the wrong side of that slope. Now I'll be off the green. A little chip. This one we're going to bump a little more because it's up the hill. Because it's up the hill. Try to plop it right there. Ah, stop. There's a little hill right there. See if we can get it to run. Not run so much, but it did. Okay, let's see if we make one. We can make that. 17. There we go. There we go. The one thing I'll say about the new firmware, other than like the weird read things that I've had, which, hey, you know, again, knock on wood, hopefully they don't happen. I have really enjoyed um, the putting. I think the putting's gotten better. So other than that, this weird thing with reeds and stuff, if you saw in our firmware update video, it's been really good though. 356 downhill, 25, you know what? Why not? Let's try to get it up there. Nope. Or have a wedge in. Catch that grass over there. Yeah, we'll be fine. Oh, we'll take that. Didn't get it all. Didn't get it all. 80 yards. So I'd normally be in between on a 60. Ball's going 10 miles. So we're going to hit this and just hit it nice and easy. There would be an example if anybody wants to know why I don't like hitting full wedges. I hate hitting it high like that. And I always do. You know, I could obviously work on some. Oh, there's the misread. There's that. I, I jinxed it. So we got a chip now. I jinxed it. So that's the thing they're working on. They're supposedly going to have a new update coming up soon. Get in. Oh. They're supposed to have a new update to fix that, I guess. They know it's an issue and it's been brought to their attention. So, all right. Got out with a bogey. Ooh, uphill. So we'll go driver. Gotta get down or go on the other side. Ride the path for a while. Get away from that bush. Okay, should be fine. This is a pitching wedge, 142, ball going forever. So we're gonna drop a pitching wedge, hopefully out of the sky. Pretty good. You know, and that's where, if I had one thing I could work on in my game, it's, it's wedges. I, I, I'm typically pretty good, you know, nine iron higher. 
Um, I'm pretty good there. Tee shots, I could be a little better. Um, you know, in short game, always can be better in putting and stuff, but I would say these kind of full swing wedges, trying to get the ball close to the hole and stuff, is something I could be better at as we go. So, you know, and really just dialing in on it. I kind of just don't have the biggest amount of confidence in the world. That comes a lot from practice. You know, I need to practice a little more on them too. So let's see, one foot, 31 feet. So this is one where we just have to get it on top, then it's not gonna be that slow. That's a little right. Yeah, because it gets up that hill and then it's very fast when it's on top because the one foot is just right in front of you. So that's always a little bit of a tricky one because you just you need enough speed to just get up the ridge so you don't come back to your feet. But then, uh, you know, you don't want it to roll way out. So 412 up. Let's see, 412 up, we're going. Driver. Hit that one okay. Little pull though, which I hate. But it'll work out. Kick it right. Kick it right. Yeah, I'm liking the dis. I mean, it's got to be the elevation though. There's no way I'm hitting irons that far. That's my thought. Uh, who knows though? Let's see. 141 up so we just hit a good one up with a pitching wedge i think we can do that again so we're just talking about let's see if we can get focused in on it hit a good pitch pitching wedge here just a good full one hit it solid hit it solid hey maybe we just got to focus stop rolling Stay in there, nine two, beautiful. There we go, maybe we just gotta focus a little bit. Okay, that was a good one. Gotta get a couple more, we gotta get under par. This, is, this isn't that hard of a course. Although we'd be even without the phantom putt, but that's all right. Bad breaks happen in golf. If you hit it close enough, you don't have to putt. All right. 505 up this hill, gonna just unleash. Gonna just unleash as much as I got. Hit that one pretty good. Get out there, ball. Hit that one pretty good, I like that. And I like the 217 up the hill. We're going four iron, because we're hitting it you know, 10 miles here. So, four iron, we're gonna aim it right at that, just a little fraction left, because we're hitting a little fade today. And then, just give it a good one. God, ugh. It'll be fine, I mean, short's better too, that's also why you hit four iron, so. Got to hit the pitch. Get the pitch. Go in. Go in. Oh, I like that pitch. I like how I hit that one. Just trying to re-feel that swing that I just made because I really like that one. All right, what we got? Ooh, downhill. So downhill, knowing now we're pretty confident that ball's going pretty far. I'm gonna take a little more aggressive line. Let's see if we can get over there. I like that one too. I hit that one really solid. A little more cut than I probably want, but hit that one pretty good. Get rolling, ball. All right, 116. So we're not hitting gap. We're hitting. We're gonna go 54. 
Oh, we're gonna do, we gotta kind of feel it out. Cause I don't think, it, it's definitely not a full one of these, I don't think either. All right, let's get dialed in, see if we can knock another one close. There's my high wedge. I hate when I hit wedges like that. And that's what I do. Hit it high. Hit that padding up there, which sends it down to the ground. It's a great reminder to me that that's just terrible. All right, so we've got this pretty much the same pitch we just had. Let's pitch it up. It's uphill, so I try to go a little lower so it runs runs to kind of dig up that hill a little bit that wasn't perfect but we got a putt we got a putt there we go Okay, three, five, three, down that hill. All right, my little fade, we can get it down there. Have a little less than full wedge in. That's my goal. Oh baby, that's left. On the other golf hole left. Get left, fairway. Uh, okay, cart pass. Well, it went far, 320. More swing speed. Uh, that one, I just, yeah. Not good. We'll just say that. 50. Let's see here. Going with the 50 degree. Just a good smoothie here. Again, trying to just keep it down a little bit. I, hit, I don't like hitting, you know, again, I don't like hitting full wedges. First off, I feel like I'm better at controlling distance when I don't hit a full one. And the reason I'm better at controlling distance is because I'm terrible at controlling my loft with a wedge. As you can see when I hit them. 27 feet, got to kind of feed it. Looks like it's going to roll a lot, which I, then I hit it a little too hard. Settle in right there. Ooh, this is a fun little pin. Nice little bowl there. So we didn't get it in the bowl, so that was fun. All right, what do we got? We'll take the par, 177. Down 18. I think it's gotta be an eight. So I'm gonna aim a little right here. Try and get it to draw in there with this eight iron. And that's not drawing. It's far enough. It's too far. I hammered it. All right, all right. Gotta pitch this one. You can see there's a little bump on the right. So my goal is to pitch it right to the top of that and then let it release. And let it release down. And go, or hit the super flop, because you get that sometimes, go. That'll work too. Hill. So, all right. That looks like a creek. Left, sorry. So the narrowest part of the hole is right where I'm probably going to hit this. However, you know, if this was a live round where knowing that there's trouble, I'd probably just play this as a three shotter hit a three wood or maybe less 
and deal with it. Um, but knowing that if I go a little right and we're in the desert and you can play being it's a simulator, I'm not worried about the desert. If I was playing somewhere with a really clean desert, I'd be hitting driver, trying to feed it, fit it in there, but really playing a fade to the right. Because, and that's, this is because the left is not a problem. It's, it's just cart path and stuff. So if it was water, way different story. And I didn't hit it particularly good, but we'll take some desert bounces. Okay. You know, and so the way I view this, if we were playing again in real life, I'd be like, all right, if I get lucky, again, it would have to be a clean desert. This probably wouldn't. But if it was a clean desert like you can get, I'd be thinking, okay, you know, I can play or at least, you know, I'll have a shot to advance it like 100 yards and have a wedge in. So to me, it's worth the risk to try and get where I've got a, uh, a chance to go for it. So here we go. This is a three iron. It's way uphill. So I'm hoping this isn't too much. And I did take a little bit off it. I didn't try to smash it. Bounce on. It's way uphill. So, okay. I think I kind of like the fact that I'm chipping. I think so. I think I like the chip better. Okay, 56. Again, a little uphill, so we kind of just got to pitch it halfway, hit it with a little bit of lowness, so it'll run a little bit. So ball back, just hit a little pitch, didn't get it. That one's a little higher than I wanted, but it should work. A little higher, a little harder than I wanted, but it worked out. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So that was a birdie, right? Yep. Okay, 192. Now this is where I'm really in between because I've been hitting six iron 10 miles. Can I really get a seven there right now? I'm going to... We're going to try it. That's definitely not getting there. That's a toe chunk. Stay right there. Okay. Now we got a very, again, in more in real life, depending on the grass you were on, this would be a brutal chip. 25. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna play a more of a flop shot. That's kind of the option or playing like a lower spinny shot, but I don't trust that here. So I'm gonna play a little higher floppy type shot, but that's gonna come back. Oh, no, it's not. That was lucky. That should, that should have rolled back to my feet. That's my guess. So that's gotta go. I'm glad it didn't read it because that was too short. And that was too long. Come on back. Come on back on. Oh. Well, good way to throw away around. All right, pretty quick one, it looks like. Yeah, too hard. Definitely was a quick putt. All right, one to go. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. Down 61, and then we run out of real estate in a hurry. So three wood's not gonna be the play. Driver's definitely not the play. And three woods probably not the play because I think, you know, 
I normally can hit three wood farther than 255 anyway. So we gotta go with this and just take what it take what we got in here and see what we got. Hit it pretty good. A little left. Get out there, ball. Catch that fairway. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, down the hill. All that. You know, may, three wood maybe, but you know, that was that would have been pretty risky. I I wouldn't be getting over three wood thinking, hey, I can really this one's gonna get fitted right in there. So eight's the play from what I've got. So I guess the lesson of the day for this is, you know, you just gotta kind of adjust to whatever's going on. And that's kind of true for everything. Sim golf or not. You know, you might say, oh, I hit the ball this far. But, you know, depending on your weather for the day or whatever your conditions are, it might be different. That one I hit very good. I like that swing. And uh, let's see if we can just make a putt. Nope, missed it right. And short. Missed it short, so that's why it broke under the hole. But I think I pushed it a touch. All right, kind of disappointing there. One, one phantom read in that round, but uh, you know, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, eh, I don't even know, that doesn't feel very good. All right, so adjusting to what's going on. Thanks everybody for watching, have a good weekend. We'll see you in the next video.